Plans for a Smoketown grocery store could get a multi-million dollar boost from the city again. WDRB's Katrina Nickel explains how a community organization plans to capitalize on a second chance to open that store. We eat Chicken King every day, you know what I'm talking about, but like everybody's tired of greasy foods. What are we going to eat that in the morning? Talvon Love has lived in Smoketown his whole life and says there's never been a full service grocery store for him to walk to. And like I said, we got to go all the way to um, 28th. And that's a, that's a problem for the elderly. Love is talking about the Kroger at West Broadway and 28th, more than an hour walk from where he lives. If you bring it in the community, I think it'll be so helpful, you know, before we have to go all the way to the West End. To bring a grocery store to Smoketown is exactly what one group known as Lace has been working towards. Lace is on its way to secure three and a half million dollars from Metro government to get it done. We uh, were notified that we are indeed the apparent um, awardee of the rebid. It's the second time the city has chosen Lace to receive the money and open a grocery store. The city allocated the money in 2020. Lace won the initial bid to a request for proposals in 2021. But Metro government ended talks between the two groups in January. Lace said not having land for the store was part of the problem. We just needed some more time to make sure that that was secured. In June, Lace received a land grant from the Hillerick family of Louisville Slugger Bats and says it's been full steam ahead since then. That gives people a, something tangible to hold on to, that this is no longer just an idea, that we're actually moving forward and uh, accomplishing the steps that are needed. Metro Council still needs to give final approval, but Lace has support from Metro Center for Health Equity, Council Member Ja'Cory Arthur, and Smoketown residents like Love. We appreciate that so much. In Smoketown, Katrina Nickel, WDRB News.